Hi, Fortune. It's Anthony Allen Ramos from GLAD. So great to see you. Nice to see you, Anthony. Uh, so excited for this special. It's Good Fortune out October 25th on Netflix. This is your second one. And I feel like thinking back on Sweet and Salty, mm -hmm. your first one, I think it's fair to say that one was very much about finding yourself, figuring yep. out who you are. So where does this part two journey take us? This part two journey definitely picks up where that one left off, where that one ended with me, uh, you know, figuring out I'm gay, this is who I am, I'm more in touch with uh, with me as, as a person. This is like, okay, I've been gay for a while, I know <laughs> myself, I've found love, I've, you know, I'm getting engaged, I've now gotten married. Uh, here's us figuring life out together. So it very much picks up um, from the adult part of my life and how I'm handling that and how I uh, get it wrong and sometimes get it right. And there's a lot of humor in the journey of that. So it's been fun to share this, you know, part of myself and how I'm a little different than what you might think from my appearance alone. It's like a, a fun little uh, behind the curtain thing here. I love that. And I it's filmed in Chicago and I've, mm -hmm. I've been lucky enough to meet uh, Jax, your wife. Yeah. And I think you met her in Chicago, right? I did, yeah. Seven years ago, we met at Gay Pride. Yeah. Uh, I did not go to Gay Pride thinking I would come away with a future wife, <laughs> but that's what happened. And it was in Chicago, so it just, because that set really leaned into a lot of those stories, it felt like a, a really nice personal touch to film it there. And I know that you said that you really felt that people needed to laugh, they needed to hear the stories, which I think is so more, so true. And I found that when I've been able to go to things in person again, it feels so good just to hear people and laugh. And yeah. so how are you, you know, you've got an hour with this one. How do you determine like what pieces make it and, you know, to get people laughing again? Because it's important. Well, I mean, once I finally was able to go back on tour, I mean, the, the vibe in those theaters, it was like nothing I've experienced as a comic. It, there was a definite difference with um, with the laughter, it felt like a release in a way that I had never experienced before. I think because of what we all went through as a world and having so much anxiety and so much stress, just trying to get through this time that when people finally could be in a room together and let go and laugh and not worry about all that stuff, uh, it was this really cathartic feeling for them, for me. Um, so that really helped me determine, you know, this set and the material and um, just really leaning into finding the good in things and the positive spin on things um, and just trying to keep it, um, yeah, just feeling um, more hopeful than hopeless, you know, because it just felt like that's what people needed to hear right now. So true. And I think, you know, you being someone, I think, from you know, the South. And I think it, there is a lot going on when it comes to our community. And I think having specials like this are so important. But what would you say, because I think for our kids right now, we have Spirit Day coming up um, just before this concert drops, uh, which is about stopping anti-LGBTQ bullying for kids. What, how important is it that we just come together, laugh and support each other, especially when it comes to our kids? Well, I mean, you know, they're, our future so you want them to feel good about themselves and you know you want to add to their self-esteem and help you know them become full-fledged adults that that you know like i said feel good about who they are and accept who they are uh i definitely feel like the acceptance has has come a long way since i was a kid which is awesome but we still face plenty of challenges and For i sure. think you know our community has to support each other in general we have Plenty of things still at stake, a lot of big things that, you know, uh, with marriage equality and, and whatnot, and that stuff trickles down. You, you know, when kids are seeing this rhetoric uh, online or wherever, that stuff definitely trickles down. So as a community, I think more than ever, it's, it's a time to support each other and show that representation and that, you know, we're here, we're living these lives and you know, our stories aren't that much different from your story and our relationships 
we go through similar things that you go through as a you know, straight couple and I think that's what I'm trying to do in my comedy is, is it, to show like I'm I'm just living my life it's not that much different from you I just happen to uh, be gay I happen to have a wife and it's not this scary thing that sometimes is, it's portrayed in certain parts of the media. Very nicely said. Well, congrats, Fortune. And just a reminder, everyone, you can catch Good Fortune, the brand new special. It'll be available on Netflix on October 25th.